Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Makeup Monday. I am super excited for today's video one because we are sitting at my new vanity setup which will be shown in a up and coming vlog. So stay tuned. I moved some things around my room a little bit and we are sitting in front of the new vanity which means I have a completely different background now so you guys are seeing the opposite wall. Um, I moved my computer over there. We have a little kitty hammock in the corner and I also have both my kitties sleeping behind me which is honestly like a blessing. Very rare that I get them both sleeping quietly at the perfect filming time. Um, but yeah, if you guys are new here, my name is Emily Jean. I don't know if I already said that or not. And today we are doing a get ready with me. Um, I wanted to do something very casual and just chit chatty. And honestly, I'm trying to just film this video without having to edit a bunch so I can just get it up for you and see how you guys like it because Honestly, that would save me so much time. You guys tell me you like the longer videos and I think it would be fun to do more just like raw footage, long get ready with me. It's almost like a live, um, but not actually live, but at least I'm not like cutting everything down. I may have to edit this video a little bit. I'm not like purposely doing an unedited video, but I'm trying my best not to. So. I'm just going to clip my hair back. We're just going to do a little everyday kind of very light, glowy glam. Um, I'm not really doing much. Excuse me. I'm not really doing much today. I've actually just been working and vlogging and filming and getting ready for this video all day. And then later tonight, I'm actually doing some stuff with Kyle's mom for something. So I do kind of want to get ready. I just showered and I just want like a nice natural everyday look on for later this evening. Um, so let's just get started. I'm going to prime using one of my favorite glowy products. This is one of my favorite products. Um, it is a gorgeous like glowy product. It's not necessarily just a primer. You can use it as a primer. You can use it on top of your makeup. You can use it alone with makeup, really whatever. You can mix it in with your foundation. Um, but I tend to use it more as a primer. So it has this big doe applicator and I'm literally just going to apply it kind of to all my highlighted areas. So I guess if you want, you don't even need a, I probably shouldn't call this a primer. I don't know because it's not like priming my skin. It's just giving me that glowy base underneath for the foundation we're going to put on top. So I just like to blend this out with my hand. It's so beautiful. And I love this product because it's one of those things that you can use for so many different things and you can use multiple times throughout your look. So you can use it before like I'm doing now and then we can even use it later once I have my foundation powder everything as the final highlight. I have a different highlighter here too, but I just love products that are so universal and just great and obviously I love Charlotte Tilbury products just such high quality look how beautiful that glow is um, by the way I'm filming on my new lens I got a wide angle lens so I don't know if it's ideal for my makeup videos but I'm just trying to like test it out and play around with it today it's definitely like great for vlogging with the super wide angle um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit though so you guys can see me better. Okay, let's move on to foundation. Um, I actually I actually did a full like try on test video with a bunch of e.l.f. products and this was featured in it and I honestly really really liked it especially as I wore it throughout the day. Um, very comparable to the IT Cosmetics CC Cream um, which I've actually been wearing that one lately too but today I wanted to use my e.l.f. one, so I'm going to do a couple pumps of that. This is in the shade Medium 375N. Um, I usually like to get a light to medium color with a neutral undertone. I always try to like to explain that to people because it's very helpful if you know what kind of color you are with just the description because most brands have the same under description for their colors so I always like to tell people to find if you like that neutral undertone if you like a more warm or yellow undertone and then just knowing your skin tone whether you're in the lights light to mediums mediums deeps darks or whatever your like range is okay I'm going to blend this all out using my real techniques beauty sponge this is obviously dampened. This is my all-time favorite beauty sponge, you guys. Like, 
I have been using this since I started doing makeup, I swear to God, since the Beauty Blender and all that came out. I've always loved this one the most and I just can't ever go back. I remember when they were like really big, I was trying all the different brands and using all the different sponges and all the new ones that came out, but I just, nothing is better than this one to me, so I stopped testing out new sponges and just sticking with my Real Technique one. I will say though, when you first get it, I feel like the first use, this is like a fresh one because my cat started to play with my other one. Um, when you first get it, it's kind of stiff. It's almost like I like my sponges more once they're worn in a few times. So I tend to like keep my sponge for a while, honestly, just wash it. But it is good to treat them out. So basically what I'm saying is if you get it, give it a few tries because I feel like the more it's like kind of used and worn in, it gets a little bit softer and I don't know, I think it blends out better once it's more used. Okay, I'm just blending this all over my face. You guys, this product is honestly like so full coverage and so beautiful, especially for the like the price. Elf is probably one of the most affordable brands that's like pretty accessible to everyone because you can get Elf at Ulta, um, at drugstores, Target, which is like a lot of areas, so. Blending this all out, it's a pretty tan <laughs> skin tone, so I'm trying to really match down onto my neck and everything. I feel like you guys need to be lifted up, but my tripod is kind of like not working right now. I need to figure out the filming situation because my vanity's gorgeous and I love sitting here to get ready. Um, I feel like it's more practical just for like daily use, not filming, because I can't put my camera far back enough, if that makes sense, because you guys are like sitting in front of my mirror, where when I used to film in front of my window, I was able to set up my camera like on the windowsill and sit back far enough to make it look good. So I don't know, I just have to play around and figure out what works. I haven't been vlogging and filming and posting a ton lately. Um, and yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it in like every single video. Just not always super inspired nowadays to be posting as often. Um, but that's just kind of how things go. I'm excited for what's to come soon ahead and just kind of in like a weird transitional phase in my life right now. I feel like I've been in one for a little bit, but that's okay. And I think sometimes we just have to accept the transition periods. So yeah, Kyle's home for the summer and I'm excited to hang out with him and be with him on the weekends. He has an internship here, so he's a working boy. I'm trying to be more proactive on the weekdays with filming and uploading for you guys because I do freaking love this so much. It's just really hard when your personal life gets in the way and I don't know, I'm just looking forward to having my own place soon and just feeling more structured. But, yeah. Okay, I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. You guys, I actually have not used this in so long, but I picked it up recently, randomly. First of all, can you see Olive laying her head on the pickle? That's like the cutest thing in the whole world. They both have little toys. Pickle has a pickle toy and Olive has little olive toys. But Olive's literally using the pickle as a pillow. I'm gonna cry. Um, anyways, I picked this up again lately because this is like just a tried and true makeup product. Everybody and their mother knows this. It's such a great classic concealer. And honestly, there's like no other concealer that's like this. I like how it's very lightweight and thin. But the colors, you can get them pretty light for like my skin tone. And with it being still really thin, it's pretty brightening for the under eye. So I just used that. I have the shade 120 Light. So yeah, it's definitely a lot lighter than my foundation. But I love that brightness it gives my under eye. It's so weird. I honestly cannot compare this formula to like anything else. And I just like forgot about it. So I had to pick up a good old age rewind. Just blended that out with the same sponge. Um, and then I'm going to set that using my Laura Mercier Honey Translucent Powder. 
actually it's not called translucent, just called the honey powder, I believe. And I love this. I love the honey shade a little bit more than the translucent one. I think I've talked about that. I don't know, it just like lays better on my skin. And even with it having that like little tint of color, it's not like you even really see it. It just isn't as patchy. For some reason, I feel like the original can get a little like dark on me in a way. And this keeps my under eye bright. I don't use it that often. If I had to choose, I'd probably use my Cody Airspun over this, but whenever I like sit down to do new get ready with me's or just kind of messing around with makeup, I always like to pick new products and like use different products together that I haven't tried before. So like different makeup combos, I should say, I guess. I don't have a massive collection at my dad's, I would say, of the makeup I use. Um, so it's fun to just like make different combos with products I haven't used together before instead of always using like new, new, new stuff. And I've seen that you guys actually appreciate that I use a lot of the same stuff in my videos. Sometimes I feel bad because I feel like I'm talking about a lot of the same stuff. Um, but it is the products that I love and I use all the time. And I think it's helpful for you guys because then I'm not making you like go out and buy all this stuff or whatever. So if you're so if you have the same products that I have in my collection and I'm using in multiple videos, I feel like it's helpful. Um, okay, let's move on to bronzer. So far, so good with the editing. I think I only had to like cut one part out. Um, and that is pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy this like non-edited video. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this single Morphe bronzer. I haven't used this in so long, but I was trying to pick out some more affordable options um, throughout most of this video for you guys. So this is just a solo bronzer in the shade Debuté. I never know how to say it. Um, I actually found this randomly one day in the little like checkout line at Ulta. So check your local Ulta. They definitely have it online. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And they just have like this one shade. It's a really random product. But the shade for my skin tone just works so well. And the product itself is just really good. And I honestly also just like the small compact packaging because it's a great bronzer for me to bring around with me. Um, I shouldn't say it's a perfect shade for my skin tone. It's definitely actually a lot like the deepest bronzer I use, so I have to use a light hand, but I honestly love that about it. I love that it's a more intense, deep, rich bronzer color. So I feel like if you're light to medium, medium, maybe deep tan skin tones, you could use this as your bronzer, and I love it. It's just a really great like matte, seamless formula. I I'm kind of confused on the product. I get confused when brands come out with just like random things. I don't know if they have other shades, but I feel like they should just make a bunch of little single bronzers because this one is really good. Honestly, I'm gonna look that up if they have other minis like that or if that's the only one. I'm pretty sure that's only one or when I bought it. I know that was true, but that was a while ago. Um. Oh, also today's Makeup Monday was supposed to be using and testing like a bunch of my master, oh god I almost fell off my stool, um, testing a bunch of products from Mario, Makeup by Mario's line, but honestly I did not have time for that and I never got around to filming it because that video was gonna take, I was gonna film it today, but I'm like that video is gonna take me hours and hours to film because I want to test and try and talk about every product like really in depth. And I also was going to do a big giveaway because I have extra products to give to you guys. So I was like, okay, that is literally a full day of filming. Like, there are certain makeup videos and, like, it's so weird depending on how I want the video set up. Some YouTube videos can take me 30 minutes to an hour to film. Like, this one is very casual, so it's kind of as long as my makeup takes is going to be as long as the video will take. But more like thought out videos or if there's a sponsor involved and briefs I have to follow um, or just for my own good like really reviewing makeup just takes a lot of time and I like those videos to be more thought out so I'm gonna have to save a day when I have all day and I'm prepped and ready for that. Uh, because another thing I feel like you guys don't see is just like the cleaning I have to do for filming all the time. Um, and I know I don't have to, but I love like having my room clean and nice and pretty, especially when I'm filming makeup videos and like sit down videos. 
which I feel like I do pretty often compared to the average like 2021 YouTuber. I feel like most YouTubers nowadays are just strictly vloggers or just a lot of vlogs. But I love doing my sit down videos. Therefore, my room always has to be spotless and it's not always spotless on a daily basis. It takes a lot of cleaning and always doing laundry, always cleaning the cat stuff. It's like never ending. I know you guys know that, especially you moms out there really know that. It's just like never ending with household things. And I swear, it's like, I don't understand how people have time to do all this different stuff. Okay, our bronzer is on and it's looking really good. I kind of did a little heavier bronzer, which I'm honestly into. Looking nice and sun-kissed and tan. Um, I'm going to go in with blush. Oh, I actually grabbed two here. So I have my Morphe 2 Cream Blush in the shade Dream. Looks like this. I'm actually going to use this today. It's really pretty. It's a nice, like, corally color. I found that these Morphe blushes are more or less pigmented, so I kind of have to like build it up. So I feel like I tend to not grab this a lot because I feel like I'm not going to get a bold blush look, which usually I like a bold blush look. Um, but I think I just need to like really pack it on and keep layering it because they are really pretty and they are very easy to use. So honestly, if you are like someone who likes light makeup, minimal makeup, these are amazing. You guys know I just love my like blush pop. Um, but I also have my Rare Beauty one. These are, like, the opposite of that. These are very intense. You need the tiniest amount. And I feel like if you're not that good at makeup, these are low-key kind of hard to use. Um, but they are gorgeous and beautiful. You just have to be, like, very sparing with it. But today we're going to do the Morphe one because I don't think I've used this on camera. Um, it's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm dipping in with, like, a big Kabuki brush. This is also from Morphe. And I'm going to tap it on the back of my hand. I really like to work off the back of my hand to make sure everything's really blended and even on the brush. This texture is kind of like a moussey texture. Like, do you guys remember those Maybelline, like, dream bouncy blushes? That's literally basically what this is. Or like a similar feeling to it. But I really like applying it with a big, flat, like, kabuki brush and just kind of stippling it on the face. It's a really, really pretty, like, summertime blush. And it's also actually, I think, gorgeous when it's you're just using blush. You have, like, no foundation or any other makeup on. If you just wanted to, like, have a little rosy cheeks for the summer, I think this would be really, really cute. A great, like, younger girl product, which I'm pretty sure is what Morphe 2 kind of was, like, all about when Charlie and... Dixie were like the faces of it. It was kind of like the new Gen Z makeup line for like younger generation and I totally agree with that. Okay, that's blended out pretty good. You can tell, see, it's just kind of like a lighter color. Maybe it's just the shade I'm using because it's that like corally color. It doesn't give me that like bold, bold blush look, which I just I love blush so much, but this looks good. And honestly, I don't want too much makeup on for tonight because... Um, I am helping out with um, Kyle's mom helps a and works with a nonprofit, so I'm going over there to help her with some stuff with that tonight. So it's not like I want a full full face of makeup on. We're gonna be working and doing stuff, so I don't really know how much I'm allowed to talk about that. That's why I'm kind of being vague. It's just not my not my place to talk about on the internet. I'd have to ask her but it's a great nonprofit and I love doing that kind of stuff with her okay I'm just filling in my eyebrows I feel like I just like moved on without telling you guys um ugh, my nose gets itchy if your guys nose gets itchy you just have to like itch it with a brush or like um your sponge to not ruin your makeup um, I was going to go in with my Doll 10 brow pencil, but I forgot that I broke it, so this is completely out. I, like, snapped a whole piece off, and now I have no more brow product in there, so I'm going to go run to the bathroom really quick and grab a different brow product. We'll be right back.
sprinkles. Did you fall behind the... Put your head in the pillow. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Okay, I just grabbed my Benefit products. These are tried and true. I used to use these all the time. Girl, oh my god, you guys. Like, I cannot with them. They're so freaking cute. Um, if you guys are cat moms, you can relate to when your cats are sleepy. It's like the best thing in the world. Um, I was using this so much, like over, I feel like 2020, 20, end of 2019, but all of 2020. Like, this reminds me of like quarantine. I feel like I used it a lot, but it is so good. Um, I just go back and forth with wanting to use pencils and powders, but if you are looking for a good powder and brush, the, um, foolproof brow powder from Benefit is just so good. I'm shade 5, which I think is like their darkest. Yeah, shade 5. And I kind of use it exactly how it's set up. So there's a lighter powder in the front and then a little bit of a darker one. So I use the lighter in the front of my brow and then I'll use a little bit of that deeper color for the tail. And honestly, my brows have been looking like so rough lately. Even with, I get them waxed and I get them tinted. Um, I go to Ulta, by the way, to get that done. I feel like people ask me that all the time. And yeah, I just go to Ulta. I always get someone different. I've been to like different Ultas before too. And I've always had a good experience. Um, and I always get a brow tint and wax. And it's actually the benefit, like brow bar at Ulta. So highly recommend that. But I don't know, lately they've been like looking a little crazy and like almost a little more... What's the word? Spare or spruce? I can't think of the word. God, my nose is so itchy. It's like all the stuff I would cut out normally. Um, I can't think of the word. Like, more hair is missing. Sparse. There's the word. Um, it's They're looking more sparse, and I don't know why they would, because I don't, like, overpluck them or touch them at all unless I get them done. Oh my god, you guys, my nose is, like, ridiculously itchy. I have so much dry skin because I've been using this acne product and it like dries out my skin and it starts peeling and then it gets really itchy. Okay. But yeah, my brows have just been kind of sparse lately and not looking the best. And that like never happens to me, so I don't know what's going on with them. They just happen to mind of their own. I kind of want to get like a nice hair growth product or start putting like castor oil on my brows more or something. I've been using castor oil on my hair, but I haven't really like been using it on my brows. So let me know if you guys know anything about that or have some tips because I love my full brows and I never want them <laughs> to get thinner. So keeping those hairs growing is what I want. Okay, I'm just setting them with my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This is my favorite brow gel ever. Benefit makes one makes one too that I did use for a long time, but honestly, I think this one is just better. And they're about the same price, so. Recommend the ABH one. Okay, makeup is looking pretty good and basic. I don't really want to do mascara today. You guys know if I don't have to do mascara, I will like just not do it because one, I hate taking mascara off at the end of the night. It's like my biggest pet peeve. And even though I use like makeup oils and stuff, it comes off easy. It just like, I feel like the blackness stays for too long. Um, so I'm going to skip mascara, but if I was going to use mascara today, I would have used my e.l.f. volume plumping mascara because this is actually so good one of my new favorites it's really really good and again so affordable so i want to share that um but instead of doing mascara i will like line my eyes a little bit with some shadow so i'm just going to take this little trio that i got from morphe another little find at the ulta checkout i honestly love this i will link this down below i want to see if they have other trios because i love how handy this is just comes with three matte shades, like very simple, gorgeous. I love how this is kind of like pinky toned. So this is honestly just like a great little palette to have to do everyday basic stuff, to travel with, to 
throw in your bag. So I'm going to dip this definer brush into the deep hue, the darkest shade. Kind of has like a little bit of a plummy undertone, but also like that rich brown color. I love it. And I'm just going to add some definition to my lower lash line. This is one of my favorite things is just using a deep shadow as kind of like a liner to your eyes because it's just like way more natural, way faster to do. And you can honestly use like any sort of shade you want, whether that's like a brown color or a fun color, something more orange tone. You could even use like a black shadow. I just think shadow looks so much more natural. And using a brush, I think it's just like easier too than doing the full black liner. Although I have been into my black liner. If you guys missed last Makeup Monday, I did a gorgeous like pinky look with pretty bold black liner. And I think if it's like a full look part of it, that's amazing. But on an everyday basis, using shadow as liner is like just the way to go. Just for that more like natural look. So... I think you guys could see what I did there, just kind of rubbed it on there. I like to blend out with my fingers sometimes, honestly, if I want it to look more natural. And I also like carried it out to the side. Nothing like perfect, just very like messy. Okay, I'm taking my hair down so I can see what's going on. Um, I think I'm going to line my lips and we'll do some gloss and I think that is it. Oh wait, no, let's do some highlighter. Yeah, there's the highlighter. Okay, I have this Wet n Wild highlighter. I spilled this all over my bathroom sink and like all over the counters like the other week, so it's kind of haunting me, but it is so gorgeous. This is the Wet n Wild All Glown Up Loose Highlighter. I honestly hate loose highlighters. Like working with them are so annoying, but they usually are like the most pretty, most reflective highlighters. So it's a really pretty rosy gold color. I'm going to take it on my little tapered brush. I'm not even taking the film off again because it's just so messy. And just need a little bit. Now, okay, now for lips, um, I'm going in with one of my favorite liners. This is the Color Statement Lip Liner from Milani. This is in the shade 03. It's a very just like regular kind of pinky, lighter toned nude, <laughs> I guess. I normally use 09 Spice as like my go-to. It's like a deeper brown, rich color. But if you want something more natural, more every day, then go with 03. And I did not use lip plumper today. I think we can pass on that because I'm going to have to wear a mask anyways, which, oh my god, do not apply a bunch of lip plumper and put a mask on because you do not want that stuff like spreading all over your mouth. So I'm just going to go with this liner and overline a little bit underneath. don't want to do too much. It is such a rainy, gloomy day here. I feel like, oops, sorry guys, my camera ran out of recording room. Um, I keep thinking I'm repeating myself, but that's because I started a vlog right before I sat down to film this makeup video. So if you see it a vlog later this week with this same like makeup and shirt and everything, that's because I was vlogging today. Um, gonna vlog like for the next couple days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday maybe. And post that later this week so stay tuned i know you guys want the vlogs the daily vlogs the weekly vlogs just regular content and yeah i started that so i was telling the vlog that it has been just so like rainy and gloomy here today it's so crappy i hate it and it makes it such bad it makes it like really bad for filming and lighting and everything because when it's so gloomy i don't get a lot of light in this room 
Um, so luckily I have lots of lamps and lights and my makeup, everything lit up to give me the most light as possible. Okay, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling on to you guys. Um, I need to end this video here. I'm going in with this new lip gloss, you guys. I actually bought a couple things from this brand, so... If you want a full Makeup Monday, let me know, but I only cracked open the gloss because I couldn't wait, so sorry. Um, this is from the brand Kaja. It's like a newer, like, natural, I don't want to say natural, like a just newer cool girl makeup line. I don't know how to explain it. I know you guys know what I mean. Just like the newer type of makeup brands that are like more natural, kind of like glossier, like very glowy cool innovative products whatever so this is a gloss from them it's the gloss shot it is in the shade milk tea and i honestly love it it's a gorgeous light 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 pink color very glossy oh my god it's actually so pretty i forgot how much i liked this i only used it like once when i cracked it out of the packaging um but I also bought like shadows from them and maybe like some face products from them. I bought a few things from the Sephora sale. So if you guys want to see some more Kaja, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, let me know because so far this lip gloss is so pretty. Like do you see how reflective that is? That is my type of gloss. I love oh, a super shiny gloss. It's so pretty. Oh, excuse my little brother walking in. Come in. I'm filming. Oh, Want to say hi to the video? Where's the camera? Right there. I got a new wide angle lens. Look at. We could see both kitties. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. My camera ran out of room again, and my brother walked in here for a second. But to wrap off this video, I'm going to set my face using some Mac Fix Plus. I actually already sprayed it, but I'll do it again. It's so good. And this honestly just helps all those powders and different products that we just applied like mesh and melt together. Not necessarily make it last longer. Um, I would use maybe like the all nighter for that or the Morphe setting spray. But the MAC Fix Plus honestly just makes your makeup look 10 times better and melts it all into one so yeah you guys i think that completes this video i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chatty get ready with me just doing our makeup and i think i only had to cut a couple clips from this video so let me know if you guys liked the minimal editing style because honestly it makes it easier for me and i feel like it's more genuine one-on-one -on -one. and i know i love just like playing people in the background while I'm doing stuff throughout my day, so I feel like that's what you guys can do with these videos too while you're cleaning your room or doing your laundry or whatever, or whatever it is that day. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will have all the products that I used in this video linked down below for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned this week for some other videos, a vlog, things like that, showing you guys my new setup from the other way and yeah i love you guys so much thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye